Hey guys, it's Mr. Bison, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about a couple of things. First of all, some stuff that I'm going to be doing over the Easter holidays, some aiming for A-star sessions. And secondly, where you should be at in terms of your studies and preparations for the summer exams. I'm doing this video from outside. It has been a lovely warm day, which is a great thing, but it does mean that the summer is coming closer, which means the exams are coming closer as well. So the first thing I wanted to talk to you about are some sessions that I am running. This will now be the third year that I've been running these sessions. I call them the Aiming for A-Star sessions. They take place on Zoom and they're basically an opportunity for me to go through some of the trickiest parts of A-level maths and A-level further maths and to give you some tips and tricks, things that will help you out in the exam and also to leave you feeling those sessions really, really confident. They do take place during the Easter holidays. A couple of the further maths ones take place in a weekend in May. And they are three hours long, which includes a break and a Q&A session as well. After the session, though, which is a very interactive session if you want to get involved in the chat, um, I also give you a batch of questions and there's an additional video of me going through those questions so that it's not just the three hours that we have together. There is some extra stuff that comes afterwards. Like I said, I've done these for the last few years and they have always sold out when I've done them. So... I would definitely go and try and get your tickets as soon as possible for this. I've also put in the description some comments from previous reviews that I've had. I think last year I got 373 reviews and my average score out of five was 4.8. Basically they were all five stars and four stars. So people really loved these. And I even asked some people after they'd had their exam results what they thought of the sessions. So many people said that the session was what made the difference between an A and an A star. People said it gave them like 10 or 15 extra marks or questions they knew they wouldn't have been able to do without those sessions. So it really is an investment into you doing your very best and reaching your potential in those summer exams. Now, if you do receive a bursary or free school meals, do get in contact with me directly because I can offer you a discount code, which will give you a very big discount because you know, I always want to make sure that these things are as accessible as possible, but I do put an awful lot of time and work into making sure that these sessions are as good as they can be. So if you do want to come along, check out the description. There's some comments from previous people um, that have attended them, but there's also a link to the box office as well. So thank you very much for listening to that. It's always important I can try and give you the proper information about this because I'd only ever ask you to come to something like this if I think it will be beneficial for you. And of course, if you don't want to come, you've still got all of my free stuff on the channel, my chapter summaries, my live streams, which I hope to see some of you guys in as well. Now, the second thing I wanted to talk to you about is where should you be at at this stage? We're sort of like mid-March. You might be watching this at the beginning of April. Well, I usually say to my students, I want to get everything finished by the Easter holidays so that my students have a clear mind for just focusing on exam papers from that point onwards. So we're probably coming up to these holidays next couple of weeks as I've been doing all these preparations for my aiming for A-star classes. I would say if you don't get finished by Easter, it's not the end of the world. Try and get it sort of done in a week or a week or two after the Easter holidays. Or you can always use my videos to fill in just those last few bits of a topic as well. After that point of having learned all of it, you should be leading your revision primarily by doing past exam papers. You should turn your phone off. You should only use a clock or a watch to do it in timed conditions. It has to be in timed conditions. We're trying to do as much as we can to recreate the feeling of being in the exam hall. After you've done one of these practice papers, obviously, or sorry, past papers, you're obviously going to mark that paper and figure out which are the topics you're like, cool, I'm completely good with that. Which are the topics that maybe you need to go and just look at a chapter summary on my channel? And then which are the topics you need to go a little bit deeper? Or perhaps which are the exam style questions that are very, very tricky? with those questions that you got wrong, obviously try and understand them using videos and mark schemes, but I would keep a copy of those questions somewhere separate. I know that Z Physics and Physics Online, they've done videos about this as well, and they've called it like a folder of failure, whatever you wanna call it, keep those questions somewhere so you have them to go back to and check over. If you repeat those questions one week, two weeks, three weeks later, and you can do them, you've learned what the examiner was trying to get at when writing that question. If you can't do them two or three weeks later, you haven't quite learned that part. So I would want you to really make sure that you've understood what was the little trick with the maths that goes to that. And lots of these tricks, lots of these things that I'm talking about in these questions, these are exactly the kind of stuff that I've put in the Aiming for A-Star sessions, the things that maybe your teachers wouldn't have had the time to show you that I'm hoping I will be able to say, oh, look, here's this little tip. Here's this little thing that you might be able to remember in the exam. And then I suppose after you've been doing those past papers and sort of filling in the gaps with all of these kinds of things, 
you just loop back around, do another pass paper, and you will really feel yourself getting so much stronger, getting so much quicker, and any anxiety that you might currently have will start to fade away. So at this stage, um, get the content finished, get yourself doing some past papers, come along to some of my Aiming for A Star sessions. And if you can't come to that, I hope to see you in the comments in some other videos, or maybe in a live stream soon. I am off to Turkey, which I'm very, very excited about. I hope that I have some good weather there, like we've got here as well, and I hope that you get to enjoy it too. So I hope to see you in another video soon, guys. Have a good one. Bye.